Zip Tie Domes presents How to Make a Geodesic Dome Door. PVC pipe domes are very strong, which makes them suitable for many purposes. One advantage a PVC pipe dome has is that a doorway can be made using plumbing tees and angled plumbing joints. This is a 2V silo dome I made that is 11 feet wide and 9 feet tall using 1.5 inch PVC pipe with 6 inch super hubs. By removing a section of the dome frame and replacing some of the struts with plumbing tees and using a few angled plumbing joints, we can facilitate a rectangular entrance to the silo dome. Here's a 25 foot 3V58 shelter dome with a rectangular doorway using six plumbing tees and two angled connections. We are using 22 and a half degree angled connectors just above the horizontal struts on each side of the door. We set this dome up at Mother Earth News Fairs to show customers how to make a doorway. To make a larger entrance for the fair, we removed an entire hexagonal section of the dome. And yet, the dome will still be strong enough for a swing chair or climbing. To maintain the dome's strength with a single opening, you have to keep the foundation ring intact and not remove the strut at the bottom of the doorway, otherwise the dome will spread out and not be as strong. This 25-foot 3V3 8 dome for the Nebraska State Fair was set up to encourage children to recycle plastic bottles. To make the entrance large enough for the kids to easily enter and leave, two complete sections were removed and the entrance was supported by posts. Bill from Reno, Nevada created a door with a much smaller opening by removing a single horizontal strut to create a diamond-shaped entrance with a diamond-shaped door. This 25-foot 3V3 8 dome has vents powered by a solar fan. The vents are triangular wooden frames mounted on a hinge. Doug in North Carolina built this 16-foot wide, 12-foot tall, 2V silo dome greenhouse with a rectangular door. The bottom of the door has a slot that has been inserted over the foundation ring of the dome. The top of the door is connected to the two diagonal struts with wood screws. The struts at the sides of the door have been bent by using a heat gun attached to the frame with wood screws with the excess pipe being used as a coat hanger. A pallet is used for an entrance ramp and a transom was added to the top of the doorway to vent the excess heat. A 70% shade cloth has also been added. Bob from New York built this geodesic dome doorway with slots at the bottom of the dome to sit on top of the foundation ring. The struts on the side of the door are inserted into the door jamb and the two diagonal struts across the top support the top of the door. This dome by Mark from Missouri sits on top of a knee wall with the dome struts inserted into holes in the door jamb. Nathan built this dome with the doorway on top of a knee wall. If you look closely, you can see on the back of the door where Nathan added two plumbing tees to the struts with short pieces of pipe connected to the door frame that helps support the dome and the doorway, and it creates a ledge to help the door shed rainwater. Matt from Oregon built this dome on top of a knee wall made from rectangular panes. The door is a roll-up piece of plastic. The panes at the bottom can be open for airflow in the summer. Matt is using a triangular frame attached to a hinge to create a vent that can be opened and closed. Aaron built this door on a knee wall made from three feet of earth to help warm the greenhouse with ground contact. The dome is attached to the knee wall 
and a single horizontal strut has been removed to accommodate the doorway. Aaron is using our dual covering hubs that allows two layers of greenhouse plastic, one on the inside of the dome and one on the outside of the dome, to be attached to every hub using zip ties. The dual covering hubs creates a dead air space around the struts for better insulation. Kim in Manitoba put a heavy duty insulated doorway on their dual covering dome due to the extreme cold they have in central Canada. What they found is that the snow would accumulate right above where the door was attached to the dome. So their brilliant solution was to add an archway over the top of the dome and then add several PVC pipes between the top of the door and the dome to create a ridge to help shed the snow off the dome. This is a view through the door back inside the dome showing the PVC pipes to shed the snow. With the added arch and pipes above the door, Kim designed a way to make the snow shed off the top of the doorway. Allison made this geodesic ice fishing shanty with a plexiglass doorway to create a double doorway and to help collect heat from the sun like a greenhouse. The shanty has a small stove for warmth and is covered in Tyvek for the outer shell and uses recycled denim and reflective aluminum for the insulation. The dome and greenhouse entrance is attached to a wooden sled so it can be towed on and off the ice in winter. Lena in Texas built this concrete dome using latex cement poured over canvas for a waterproof covering. She started with a 16-foot 2V standard dome that was held to the ground with long rebar stakes pounded into the ground with a hammer. She added a wooden frame for the doorway with a post on the sides of the door extending down into the, into the ground for support. The dome was covered with canvas and Portland cement mixed with Sika latex for hydration was applied over the canvas to create a permanent waterproof covering. The concrete dome was then painted white to reflect the sun and a door was added. Lena said that when a hurricane hit South Texas, every other structure fell in the winds except this one. One of the easiest doors to make is a simple flap door. One strut is attached with zip ties to the top of a triangular opening and another strut to the bottom of the triangle. The ends of the two struts are connected with zip ties and then covered with plastic to make a simple swing or flap door. We include two extra struts with every kit with instructions on how to make this simple door. Martin in North Carolina is using a simple flap door for his 25 foot 3v3 8 stone for growing orchids. The dome is covered with white greenhouse film to lower the amount of light re reaching the orchids. You can also make a door out of PVC pipe as in the doorway for this geodesic chicken coop. One of my favorite examples was produced by Joe from Texas. Joe added several support struts at the top of the door to hold the rectangular door frame. The door is held closed by a bungee cord and it can swing out to let the chickens out to play. Joe also has a special chicken door with a flap made from PVC pipe and held to the frame with zip ties. Tracy in Florida used a 2V dome to keep the mosquitoes and leaves out of her swimming pool. For the doorway, a section was removed and two vertical struts were added on either side of the entrance to provide support. The support struts are attached to the dome with zip ties. Forrest in California built his 2V dome on top of vertical pipe to keep his dome height and width under the maximum size allotments without permits in Kern County, California. Forrest created a door and doorway with a pointed top to fit this type of dome. The door is made from PVC pipe and swings open and shut. Inside the dome, Forrest uses an aquaponic fish tank to supply liquid fertilizer and water to his grow beds. D 
Deidre created a traveling dome exhibit to celebrate women in robotics. Plastic panels were attached inside the dome triangles to celebrate fe female leaders in the field of robotics. The outer collars of the dome are made from 4-inch PVC pipe, so Deidre covered each hub with 4-inch PVC plumbing caps to give the dome a more finished and modern appearance. To provide a doorway opening, Deidre took out a horizontal strut on each side of the dome so that the public could enter and leave without any real modification to the dome. James in Florida lives next to a river in wetlands and uses a 25-foot 3V3-8 dome with a covering to keep out the many mosquitoes and to filter the direct sunlight. James said that the covering helps keep the pool water crystal clear and has cut his maintenance in half. He likes the dome so much, he connected it to his house with a screened-in porch. For easy access to the pool, he removed an entire section of the dome under the porch to create a very large entrance. LED lights have been attached to the dome struts for nighttime swimming. But one of my favorite dome builders is Mr. Nathan Voodoo, a tattoo artist that uses his 20-foot 2V dome every year at Burning Man and other festivals. Nathan doesn't need a door because a 20-foot 2V dome uses 6-foot long struts. And these 6-foot long struts create 6-foot wide openings all around the dome so you could easily step in and out of the dome on all sides as every triangle is an opening. Doors? Who needs doors? Nathan just needs the dome to provide a little shade from the sun and a tarp to block the wind to survive out there in the Nevada desert. If you have any questions about how to build a doorway for your dome, please call us at 931-858-6892 or 615-390-3107 or check out our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.